Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, I am Dr. Hasan Hasan. Uh, I am uh, the member of Sharia Advisory Committee at EPF. When a Muslim subscribe to uh, uh, saving Islamic uh, in EPF, as a Muslim, it is advisable for him. It is advised for him to. I mean, we should advise him to. Uh, to follow the and to observe the rule of Sharia in, 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 in its totality in the way that uh, as a Muslim we live our life we have to follow the principle of the Sharia even though say for example a person put their money into Islamic uh, I mean uh, put their money into Islamic EPF or later for example then when he withdraw can he go and purchase the house using the conventional loan, for example? Uh, nobody will have any right to, uh, to bind him to follow and then when you withdraw from Islamic, you have to go and buy your house using Islamic financing. But yet, as a Muslim, we should observe the way we live our life following the Sharia principle. So when we uh, have our money in EPF Islamically, by right, as a Muslim, when we go and purchase the house, we should look for Islamic financing for that matter. Anyway, in our country, the Islamic financing is available everywhere in the country. A lot of, almost every bank that have conventional also got Islamic, for example. So it is available for us to go for Islamic. And as, as a Muslim, I would like to suggest that whoever that subscribe to Islamic EPF, when they want to purchase their house or when they want to do anything after that, they should follow the principle of the Sharia by using the Islamic financing for their financing of house, car and so forth and so on.